What is up you guys? This is Mini Superheroes Today. And in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the 2008 LEGO SpongeBob set 3830 Bikini Bottom Express. Now this set back in the day had three minifigures, 210 pieces, and retailed for $19.99 in the United States. And for those of you who are my OG fans, you'll remember that this Bikini Bottom bus definitely showed up at different intervals during the show. But one of the biggest things was the episode where people talk like this and SpongeBob was stuck in rock bottom. Classic episode and really great. We've even got the bus stop sign here from that exact episode. So very, very cool. And speaking of that episode, we've also got this ticket dispenser. Now, I know I usually start with minifigures, but you know, hey, you guys know I do these off the cuff. So you can uh, pull this forward here and then there are all kinds of like the ticket pieces in there. There are one by two flat pieces. And how it works is you just pull this tab, a ticket drops down, and then you need to pull the tab pretty much the whole way out and then uh, a ticket will come out here. So you can see a ticket came out, ticket comes out. Sometimes you need to give it a little hit to make them fall down, but the ticket comes out and so on. And since those tickets are out, here's what they look like. They've got the little bus printed on them. So it's actually very cool. Then once again, you could just open this forward and put the tickets back in just like that. So it's very cool. And again, it's reminiscent of that episode where SpongeBob couldn't get out of the uh, rock bottom area. So it's just a very, very cool uh, feature to this set. So you could take the ticket here and we get three minifigures. The first of which we're gonna look at here is the bus driver. Now it's super weird because he has yellow hands, like shouldn't he have green hands to match that head? But it is a very cool head. It's the fish head that was used a couple different times in the SpongeBob waves back in the day. And uh, the torso of course is from Lego City, which is why he has yellow hands. They just didn't change him out. Speaking of yellow hands, we've got the SpongeBob minifigure here. Just a classic all around great look for this figure. Unfortunately, you know, they do get older and the pieces crack. You can see his arms crack there, but it's still a great minifigure nonetheless. And then we've got a classic Patrick minifigure. So he's got the shorts there that are only printed on the front, not on the back. And uh, that's the Patrick minifigure. All great minifigures here. So we looked at all that. Now we get to take a look at the bus. I absolutely love these white tires. They almost look like white chocolate to me. It's kind of crazy. But you can see the undercarriage here is very, uh, you know, basic, nothing too crazy there. We've got a spinning propeller in the back. We've got a little, uh, I guess, like, I don't know what this would be called, like an omniscope or something. I don't know, a periscope. I don't know, something on top there, but definitely looks a lot like the show. And then the entire top of the bus lifts off, and you can see that conveniently there are three seats. The first of which would go to the bus driver. Get that ticket out of his hand so he fits in. The first of which would go to the bus driver, and then SpongeBob and Patrick can fit in the back there in those two seats. So can't be a very profitable bus line to only be able to drive two people in it at a time. But kidding aside, this is a very cool set. And for 20 bucks back in the day, you really could have gotten some cool stuff here. You know, this would be cool to put on a bookshelf if you're a SpongeBob fan or whatever. In any case, I really like this set. I had it back in the day. I have it again now, and I got to share it with you guys here today. So drop a comment below. Let me know what you think of this set. Let me know if you think this would have been worth 20 bucks. Like I said, I really think it was, but I'm always curious to hear what you guys think, and that's what matters most. So be sure to drop a comment. I'll see you guys on the next video, and until next time, Build on. If you liked what you saw and you liked what you heard, feel free to click that subscribe button for more LEGO content coming in the near future. So, thanks for tuning in to today's video, and until next time, build on.